Let's take a closer look at the options on this brush tool. Again, go to, over to Tool Properties, and that will always show you all the options. In the regular brush mode, which is the first of these three, that's when you're just basically using the brush to paint your contour lines, and then you're adding new brush strokes over each one. If I change color, by tapping on a different color, you can see that it just adds a new stroke right over the old ones. The second one of these options is the draw behind mode, and it's used to paint behind the existing art. So let's take a look over at the color. I'm going to choose black as my color, and then go to Tool Properties and choose the draw behind mode. And now you can see that I'm drawing behind, even though I'm on the same layer. Toon Boom Storyboard Pro treats all of these strokes that you make as completely separate vector objects. As you can see, if I just select one of them, I'm able to move it and manipulate each of these completely separately. So if that's a feature that you don't want, then under the brush features, you can go and choose the auto flatten mode. And let me show you what that is going to look like. I'm going to paint in auto flatten mode now, those same strokes. And now when I use the selection tool to pick it up, they are no longer treated as separate strokes at all. I could manipulate them as one. And that may be convenient for your purposes or not. Basically, the option is there, and it's up to you. When you want to choose your brush, Within the Brush Tool Properties, you can go to this drop-down box, and you'll find a whole variety of brushes that you can choose. And all you need to do is simply tap on the name of the brush, and then you're already activated using that tool brush. When you want to change the properties of your brush, you can go over here to adjust the minimum size of the brush. That's how thin it will get, thinnest it will ever get. And then you can also control the maximum size of the brush. And then there's also a preview basically showing you what it will look like ahead of time. You can just test it out however you want to. If a brush is extremely thin at the beginning and extremely thick on the large side, it can be a little volatile to work with, but ultimately, as you play around with it, you'll find the parameters that you like the best. 